I'm Brittany and welcome back to my channel, The Book Dreamer. Today's video is going to be my biannual bibliothon TBR video. The biannual bibliothon is a readathon that is being hosted by the lovely booktubers Emma Books, Miss Sassy Cassie, Brittany's Book Find, Kelly's Book Spell, The Booktube Girl, Sierra Reads, and Little Red Reader. The biannual bibliothon takes place two times during the year, once during the winter and once during the summer. This is going to be the Winter Biennial Bibliothon, which starts Sunday, January 8th, and ends on Saturday, January 14th. The readathon contains seven reading challenges, as well as seven video challenges. There is a group book that you read as part of one of the reading challenges, and the readathon ends with a live show on Biennial Bibliothon's YouTube channel that discusses the group book on Sunday, January 15th. There are also reading sprints being hosted on the Biennial Bibliothon's Twitter page, as well as a new Instagram challenge that they are incorporating as part of one of their platforms to get readers to discuss their books and just be more active while they're reading. I don't think I will be participating in the video challenges just because I don't have any editing software to help make the videos the way I would want them. But I will definitely be reading like crazy, and I hope to participate in the Instagram challenges on their feed. I will be leaving the links down below for if you want to know more. On to the reading challenges and the books I'll hopefully be reading. The first challenge, like I said, is the group book that they selected, and for this, we will be reading Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. This takes place in 19th century Victorian England. Audrey just lost her mother and decides to learn more about death, and for this she becomes a secret apprentice to learn more about forensics while leaving behind some of her highborn Victorian ways. Through this she becomes drawn into the murders that are being committed by Jack the Ripper and starts to investigate to find the killer. Through this she also ends up finding that the killer may be closer than she would have thought. I'm excited to read this twist on Jack the Ripper's story as well as see how the history is really incorporated in the novel. The second reading challenge is to pick a book based on a previous biannual bibliothon challenge. The channel did provide a list for all the challenges that they've had in previous readathons, and I decided to pick the throwback challenge, which is rereading a book from your childhood. So I'll be re reading Twitches The Power of Two by H.B. Gilmore and Randy Reisfeld. This follows two girls who are separated at birth. They have powers, and when they are brought together, their powers are a force to be reckoned with. They have to figure out what happened in their past and avoid the evil that will do anything to control them. I read this in middle school, and I'm really excited to have the nostalgic feels of rereading this book. The third challenge is to read a book that was released in 2016. And I will be picking up The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This will be my second book by Ma Morgan Matson that I'll be reading. I did love Since You've Been Gone by her. I have all the rest of her books on my shelf, and I'm super excited to continue reading her work. For this, Andy has a plan for everything, but when an unexpected scandal happens that forces her to be at home with her politician father, instead of following the plans that she laid out for her summer, she no longer finds the plans to work out. She now has to work as a dog walker and a love interest that she had for months ago that changed a lot for her is coming back into her life. The fourth reading challenge is to read a book that is recommended by a fellow booktuber. For this, I turned to Cece's channel, Problems of a Book Nerd, to rewatch her. If you like that, try this book recommendations video. I will be leaving the links down below for this. For this challenge, you don't have to ask a booktuber for a personal recommendation unless you want to. You could do a general recommendation video like I did, and from Problems of a Books Nerd channel, I did her Halloween party recommendation video. So I will be reading *The Bad Beginning* by a series of from a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. This is on my TBR for January, so I'm super glad to be able to apply one of the books from my TBR for January to the readathon. This follows three orphans who are brought to the home of their only living relative, who has very dastardly plans in to enact for these orphans. The orphans have to continually get themselves out of the trouble that their relative causes, as well as avoid any of the trouble 
that follows. The fifth challenge is to read a book that you were excited to read but didn't actually pick up to read. For this, I will be reading the first book in the Kingdom Keeper series, Disney After Dark by Ridley Pearson. I had been super excited to start reading this series, but when I finally got my hands on the first book, I didn't pick it up to start reading. It has been sitting on my shelf since 2015. And I think it's more than time for me to read this. This is a middle grade fantasy novel. The main characters are teenagers that have used a special piece of, te of technology that allows them to become holograms to provide tours for visitors to Walt Disney World. However, the technology has an unexpected side effect and the teens are suddenly finding themselves as holograms in the park at night. The villains from Disney suddenly become real and are about to wreak havoc on the unsuspecting park and outside world unless the teens are able to stop them. The sixth challenge is to read a book that is a retelling, so I will be finally picking up Cinder, the first book in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I'm extremely late to the game, but I'm super glad I am as well because I don't have to wait for the following books to come out. I have them all already on my shelf ready to go as soon as I'm done with this. This is a Cinderella retelling with a twist of being in futuristic space, androids, cyborgs, a handsome prince, and Cinder has to fight in an intergalactic struggle that she is drawn into the middle of. The seventh and final challenge is to read a diverse book. book. For this, I will be reading Taking Flight by Michaela de Prince with her mother, Elaine de Prince. This is Michaela's story from her time in an orphanage during the war in Sierra Leone, Africa, to her adoption by an American family and her rise up to becoming a world fa famous ballerina. It explores the hardship she faced, not just through the environmental circumstances that she had dealt with growing up, but also because of the stigma that she had to deal with because of a rare skin condition that makes her skin appear spotted. I'm lo really looking forward to reading more about Michaela and her story as well as seeing just what led to her becoming such an inspiration as a ballerina. So I hope to get in to read, get to reading all of these books that basically means reading a book a day for this these reading challenges to be completed shouldn't be too hard since most of them are really short and all of them are middle grade or YA. I also help to get hope to have myself stick to these because my mood may change otherwise. Let me know if you are participating in the biennial bibliothon what books you're reading or planning to read or what your th thoughts are about any of these books that I've mentioned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.